The French General Armament Directorate has initiated a development study for a new RBE-2XG radar system, that will be equipped on the Rafale aircraft as part of its evolution to the F-5 standard. Thales will utilize gallium nitride technology, and the new radar promises improved computing power, advanced data processing and analysis, as well as increased range and accurate detection of targets. France has already offered the new radar to India under the MRFA program, as well as some capabilities of the Rafale F-5 standard to seamlessly control and execute combat operations alongside unmanned combat aerial vehicles. French engine manufacturer Safran has offered joint development of a new 120 kN engine with full transfer of technology for the AMCA program, that will also be integrated on the existing 36 Rafale fighter jets of the Indian Air Force, which makes the Rafale a front-runner in the MRFA program. The Warship Design Bureau and Mazagin Dock Ship Builders Limited have started design work of indigenous diesel electric submarine under Project 76, that is expected to be completed by the end of 2025, after which extensive testing and optimization work will be conducted, paving the way for its manufacturing clearance by late 2028. The project aims to leverage advanced Indian technologies like weapon control systems air independent propulsion system lithium-ion batteries and sensors, and six next-generation diesel electric submarines will be built in the first phase, followed by six additional submarines with enhanced capabilities in the second phase. Hindustan Aeronautics has started production of the last two limited series Prachand light combat helicopters, and they are currently in airframe assembly stage, and is expected to complete its developmental flight by the end of this year. HAL will deliver 10 units to the Indian Air Force and 5 units to the Indian Army by the end of 2023 after which the highly anticipated mass production of the 145 light combat helicopter will commence. HAL officials have said, that HALENA integration is a work in progress, and trials will start in the next few months, while the Defence Acquisition Council has already approved the procurement of 40 HALENA launchers and 500 missiles for the Prachand. South Korea's Hanwha Defence has confirmed its participation in the FICV project and has offered its K-21 Redback Advanced Next Generation Infantry Fighting Vehicle with complete transfer of technology for local manufacturing in India by Larsen and Tubro. On top of that, Hanwha Aerospace has said, that it will also participate in the Indian Army's light tank program with K-21 light tanks, that are also based on the body of the K-21 Infantry Fighting Vehicle and that the common platform makes it a better and cost-effective offer for the Indian Army. The Indian Air Force is collaborating with an Indian drone startup, to develop an automated inspection drone equipped with advanced analysis algorithms, that is specifically designed to identify even the smallest damages on transport aircraft and fighter jets, even as small as 1 mm on the captured images that will facilitate better planning for necessary repairs. The navies of India and US have concluded the 7th edition of Salvage and Explosive Ordnance Disposal Exercise at Kochi. The 10-day Salvex exercise saw participation by the diving teams of both the countries, during which they shared experiences and trained together in a number of diverse disciplines, such as mine detection and neutralization, wreck location and salvage. Oh, my God.